Bulls and Wizards from the MCI Center in Washington, moments away on Fox Sports Net. You know, the bump and grind can be a beautiful thing if you're in a strip joint, but it's long been the subject of complaints. I'm sorry I couldn't resist. Long been the subject of complaints that it's taken the electricity out of the pro game. Rules changes put into it this year have boosted the score average of 12 points a game. Eric Collins, please ponder the question. Has execution of the changes lived up to the concept? Welcome to the NBA of the new millennium, where the tempo is high and the scores are even higher. The league's changed its rules, not just to increase scoring and excitement, but also to eliminate some of the more thuggish style of defensive play. I think that our game had gotten uh, to where it was way too physical. Uh, the, the players' talents and abilities and, and finesse uh, really weren't playing a part. With the change of rules, the black and blue players are being eliminated. Uh, because it's uh, it's more to the game of basketball and just holding and pushing, uh, fighting. But there's also more to the game of basketball than shooting and scoring. Tough defensive play has been a hallmark of the last decade's NBA champion. Now, more than 20 games into the new system, some players are starting to cry foul. The big guys out here, you know, you, I see college guys playing a little more physical than us sometimes right now. Um, and that's not fair and that's not cool. Sometimes uh, you go a little bit overboard trying to add the scoring and everything into the games. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, if, if there's been 50 years worth of contact out there, you can't all of a sudden say, hey, there's no contact in basketball. Not a lot of contact there. It's less contact sport for us because we are a physical ball club. One of the things we relied on is our defense, you know, so it's a little bit less hands-on, and it's negating us from playing the defense the way we're accustomed to playing, you know. So for the most part, I think it's kind of a catch-22. A lot of people say there isn't defense in the league, but there definitely is. That's why they had to put in some of these rules to promote more offense. If you're guarding Allen Iverson and you're guarding some of these quick guys, uh, and they're out there in the, at the half court, you can't at least check them. You use, use your hands, and they're so fast. It's almost like a, it's, it's, a, it's a big man's nightmare. The nightmare may be fading away. With over a quarter of the season already in the books, it seems the rules are starting to bend. It's changed somewhat over the last week or 10 days. Uh, it looks as though in some of the situations we're getting back to some more uh, of the things we were doing last year. There's still a whole lot of uh, physical play that I thought was going to be eliminated from the game. Uh, and I think it's kind of slid after the first week or so uh, a little bit back to where it was. Nothing changed really. Uh, I'm not complaining about it no more. I'm glad that they, they let me play my game the way I want to. Well, we've now recovered our composure. Yeah. You don't like this. Well, I don't like the fact that they make these rules because I think it's absolutely ridiculous that they can't play basketball. Say if a guy's quicker than I am, I should be able to get weak side help without some illegal zone being played. Get back to making the coaches coach the game and come up with adjustments. If teams are more powerful than you are, then you should make adjustments with your talent to deal with it. For instance, if Michael Jordan, the great Michael Jordan, then he's the best. I, why shouldn't I be able to double team him and make somebody else beat me like a Dennis Rodman? Because fans want to no. come see his offense. But then that's not basketball. They want to see the offense and put up with what you're putting up with. Then you're going to have holding. Then another thing. The main thing I'm concerned with, the taunting, the trash talking. That's why you have these guys going after each other. Believe me, I don't care what they say, how they put it. When you start talking smack to me, I'm going to have any pride. I'm going to knock you out. I'm going to do something. Or I'm going to take the opportunity when it comes to deal with it. Before you had the team play, make them play team basketball by just throwing the rules away and playing basketball. And whatever adjustments you have to make to play the game, make them. That's the name of the game. Like Tony Kukoc just scored all over Washington last week or a couple days ago. Washington make adjustments to stop Tony tonight. Make someone else beat you. That's the name of the game. I'm just glad I didn't play yeah. in your era. Let's take a look at the starting lineups tonight. Wonder whether or not Gar Hurd will tinker with his rotation after what happened in the United Center on Wednesday night as the Bulls won their third of the season and stopped that 11-game losing streak. Up next, he dominated Europe like no other player. Tonight, the Croatian sensation descends upon the U.S. Capitol. We'll put Tony Kukoc under the freeze and focus next in the game room.